Nigeria holds 37 billion barrel of proven oil reserved as of 2016, ranking 10th in the world and accounting for about 2.2% of the world's total oil reserved of 1 trillion barrels of oil. This is the journey to One Africa. Hey everybody, this is Mika and welcome back to Snow. Guys, if you're new to this family, please subscribe, turn on the notification button, but also like the videos we share. It helps us to reach to as many people as we can. And also you can join a different program to support the work we're doing here. You can use PayPal, link in the description, Patreon, or you can become a member in this family. Uh, to support Swahili Nation One Africa. Guys, I have an update on Nigeria and we have been giving these updates for a while now. Um, things in Nigeria are getting a little bit out of the control and that is because of the um, skyrocketing of the prices of the, um, of the fuel in Nigeria. The situation with fuel prices in Nigeria has accelerated with reports indicating that petrol prices have surged to almost 1,000 naira per litre at some filling stations. Uh, this dramatic increase has led to a significant public outcry and government intention, intervention. Um, and independent oil marketers and various filling stations across Nigeria have been selling petrol at prices ranging from 800 naira guys to 1000 nairas per only single liter this represent a substantial increase from a previous prices which were already high due to various economic factors you know the federal government has threatened to close down some filling station that found uh, to be overcharging the citizen of nigeria and it aims to regulate the market and ensure the consumers are not exploited during this fuel crisis but to remember the fuel prices went high simply because of the subsidies that the government removed um, a couple months ago and um, so there's a lot of uh, frustration amongst Nigerians as reflected in social media posts and general public discourse uh, people questioning the government's management uh, of fuel subsidies and the overall fuel pricing mechanism you know it seems like the prices are still going high day after day while the government still overspending the money for instance recently just the government of nigeria bought new plans for the president and vice president as well uh, these are jets that are cost a lot of billions of dollars um well they already had but the government has simply mentioned that they had to buy new flights because um, of the safety. The one that the president have been using, it has been, you know, it has been very old, so they need to buy a new one. And as you know, um, Nigerians are calling the president of Nigeria as a tourist president. <laughs> Nigerians are funny people, man. They already name him. He's, he's not a president of Nigeria, but he's, he's the president is a tourist, man. They are supposed to share this news, but this is kind of funny. You know, in Africa right now, tourist presidents, there are two of them. Nigerian president and Kenyan president. They've been called as a tourist president. Um, <laughs> the increase in fuel prices can be attributed to several factors, including the removal of fuel subsidies. I shared this a little bit in our last uh, news about Nigeria. Fra a fluctuation in global oil prices. You know, it's always there, you know, and the local supply chain issues. The NNPC has been shouldering a significant subsidy burden which might not be sustainable in the long run. So there's a push towards alternative fuel like compressed natural gas, CNG, with some stations now offering CNG as significantly lower prices, prices than petrol. petrol aiming to reduce the burden on consumers and diversify the energy sources. The thing is this, that most in most of African countries, we have natural gases, but most of all companies actually own, some shares are owned by the leaders of the government. And therefore, you know, bringing in natural gases that is found here in Africa, it's kind of like you're killing the fuel 
industry of some people and specifically leaders i think people should have option to choose either between natural gas or fuel like but we should have all these different sources because if you have monopoly a started economy if you have monopoly you know they can increase as, as, as much as prices they can and you have nothing to do with it for example in tanzania we have monopoly electricity company if you have that these guys they can increase price at any time and you can do nothing about it but the le- if, in order to help people you need to actually open the market not only for the monopoly but for other sectors as well to invest in a certain for example if you have like three or four different electricity company in the country these guys they'll be competing to do the best they can to get as many customers as they can and as a result maybe they'll reduce a little bit of price you know customer service will be good the service will be better and that's how you increase the market sector in the continent not by monopolizing the sector but rather by giving opportunity to even private sectors and other sectors to enter to the bucket to do the same exact thing and that will increase competition and also better service to the provider so guys this situation over nigeria is not just happening in nigeria to be honest but today we're talking about nigeria because increasing to 800 nairas to 1000 nairas per liter that is insane that is crazy you know what is um another crazy thing is that nigeria is one of the few actually one of the many countries in africa that produce oil like you can literally find a huge amount of oil fuel in nigeria nigeria is the country that actually constitutes a hard a lot amount of fuel in the continent and in the world nigeria holds 37 billion barrel of proven oil reserved as of 2016 ranking 10th in the world and accounting for about 2.2 percent of the world's total oil reserved of 1 trillion barrels of oil <laughs> so guys let me say this again nigeria is number 10th ranking in the whole entire world holding 2.2 percent of the world total oil reserved in the entire continent and it has more than 37 billion barrels of proven oil reserved and this is the data 2016 by waldo Mita. so let me tell you this man the country that has a huge reserve of oil the fuel is getting pricey every single day. So what about those countries that does not have oil at all? What about them, man? What about those countries? You just think a little bit about that. What about those countries? This is insane. This is crazy. It is crazy. So where does this oil go? That means there's a lot of private companies, non-Nigeria companies that are actually in the sector of oil actually taking it out or transporting it to their countries and also processing it selling to us with the high amount of price because the country that has a lot huge junk of oil man the people they actually supposed to be cheaper not because people they don't buy it but because they have a lot of it and the first thing first priority should be the people of Nigeria and not otherwise but that country is even pricier than most of the countries that don't even have oil. And that's how it is. Look at Congo, the country that has the most richness in the whole entire world, but they're living very poorly and killing each other every day. The country that is blessed with a lot of things that are there, somebody else has benefited out of it. And we are struggling and fighting because of the price, skyrocketing of the price of the fuel in the country. Guys, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know like how Africa is always like this. You know, we're always struggling. You guys, you know what happened in Russia. When Russia, you know, uh, started a war with the Ukraine, they banned everything, even stopped. They were like, you know what? We don't want you guys to export your fuel to the European Union or whatsoever. But that country, man, the economy of that country has been, has been going high day after day. Even with all the you know, what are, sanctions that have been imposed on them but have been why because they have oil because they have these resources we don't care about your system we can actually use our resources to keep develop our country so you know what ban us but you're gonna keep shining but that's not the same case in africa some of these countries they don't even have sanctions but the price keep increasing economy is keep shrinking down people are keep struggling 
And we have people demonstrating every single day in Nigeria. Demonstrators, you know, young, Gen Z also. They've been demonstrating. As a result, nobody can work, nobody can do nothing for the country. Why? Because of issues like this. So it's my call, man, upon the leadership of Africa. You know, this is the time for you to show what you got, man. This is the time for you to show what you got because this old generation is not going to stay there for long, man. Young people of Africa are waking up right now and I'm telling you, Those are the ones that they're going to be holding this government. So the, t- the time that you have left, the short time that you have left, please do something good for the country so that you'll be remembered by the good deeds and not by the corruption and, uh, and, and not accountability that you guys are doing. What is the opposite word of accountability, guys? Let me know in the comment section. You know, we, we want to recognize you as someone that we can look up to, but now... There's nothing we can look up to. We can only um, give a constructive criticism and wanting a better life for our children and the next generation. Guys, let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts. Nigeria that constitute uh, 2.2% of the world total oil reserve in the world. The data, you know, you know, it was released on 2016. It has more than 37 billion barrels of proven oil but now struggling with the skyrocketing of the price. One liter, 800, almost all the way to 1,000 nairas per one liter. So yeah, let us know guys in the comment section what are your thoughts and it's gonna be amazing. Love you, see you soon.